68 people were injured. Many uh, were police. So violent. Good morning. I'm Robin Mead. Welcome back. And um, those are a check of the headlines. So the iPhone is a latest enemy for us on Las Vegas casinos. Several applications are out that help blackjack players count the cards. The Nevada Gaming Control Board just sent a memo to casino owners to keep an eye out for the new trick. I think a lot of casinos are afraid, and they should be, rightfully so. There are a lot of people out there trying to cheat casinos, either at slot machines or table games, so that's going on. I think the key is to react to it in an intelligent way that doesn't discourage casual users. Well, counting cards isn't illegal under Nevada gaming laws, but it is a felony if you use a device to help you do that. Alex Rodriguez is going to face the media today when he holds his first news conference since his steroid scandal broke. Rafer, I wonder if he's thinking, let's just get it over with so I can go on and go to spring training. He is thinking that, and uh, the press is thinking we want to be there. 200 members of the press, so many requests, they had to turn some members of the press away. Well, the New York media known to being ruthless. Here's an example. That's the back of the New York Post. Have a seat and a grill next to him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, today at 1.30 is that famous presser. Teammates are expected to stand by A-Rod. Be interesting to see who does, actually. We'll have coverage of it for you tomorrow morning. Michael Phelps will not be charged with the crime. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott says there was not enough physical evidence to charge Phelps in spite of that famous photo surfacing, since Phelps never actually admitted to smoking pot. Phelps said he's glad the issue has been put to rest, and he expects to learn from his mistakes. And the Phoenix Suns' Jason Richardson was arrested for allegedly doing 90 miles an hour in a 35-mile-an-hour zone with his 3-year-old son not in a car seat. The team has suspended Richardson a game without pay for conduct detrimental to the team. And the coach just got fired. It's tough in Phoenix right now. And it's tough for these guys in Austria. A little Weigel's wackiness. It's the jump and freeze. And the name says it all. Ah! That is not heated water. And then these guys are, those, they're wearing suits, folks. They're wearing suits. That's not real naked bodies. <laughs> and that's not really the Eiffel Tower. Um, I'd like to be the person on the top of the Eiffel Tower. My gosh. I love, the, here. I love this, right? They got a boat. We're going to put it in the water. The boat doesn't quite make it in, so. They still go in. Ah, we're going to go in. And then this guy here is going to walk the plank here. He's, I'm going to try to, whip, ah! and then the judges score it uh, six, five. <laughs> That's a look at sports. In the next half hour, we're going to hear from Phelps about his controversy coming to a close. Robin. All right, thank you. So the price of mailing a, a bill or a letter is going up again, but HLM money expert Clark Howard has a time.